hello miss girls welcome back to another vlog so we're in my closet today so i wanted to start this video off with a cute q a so i asked y'all on my instagram to ask me some questions i just wanted to answer some of y'all's questions y'all have for me i know i've been getting a lot of repetitive questions i'm like you know what marissa let me make a little q a um so y'all can ask me some questions and i can answer them for you so that's what we're gonna do right now I also want to show you an Amazon haul that I got. So, but first, sip of water because y'all know me. When I get to talking, 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 I get to. <coughs> so, first, hydrate. So, thank you so much to everyone who um, sent your answers or your questions. Not answers, questions. Okay, so starting with the first one, when will you be officially moved into your new place? Well, Miss Girl when i have my furniture um i still don't have my furniture everything is being delivered to my grandma's house and then i'll probably rent like a little u-haul truck and just bring everything all at once that's what i was planning on doing so yeah i kind of want to do it like that so when i have like all my furniture ready now that you're living on your own has it changed you in any way if so how definitely definitely it's changed me in so many ways positive ways so guys i depended on grandma bell a lot um i've always depended on my grandma since i was a teenager i remember i'll be 17 18 i will call my grandma grandma i need help with this grandma can you do this for me grandma help me like i would always go to grandma bell and she would always be the one to be like yes miha what do you need let's get this done you know, let's get your checklist. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get it all done. I did depend a lot on my grandma Bell, and that's why I'm very, very grateful for her because she has done a lot for me, guys. Like, you don't even know. Um, so it definitely changed me to be more independent for myself. You know, because obviously I'm living on my own now. I have to do things on my own. And it's not like I didn't do things on my own beforehand it was just that i had my grandma there i'd be like oh my grandma can help me oh my grandma's there with me like i would say my grandma was like my safety blanket and so was my mom my mom was also my safety blanket so now that i'm alone living alone it definitely changed me to be more independent and it's also made me feel more comfortable with being alone because one of the main reasons why i didn't move out beforehand was because i was always scared to be by myself i had a lot of fear and i would overthink things and be like oh my god there's no way i can be living on my own like there's no freaking way like i'm gonna be by myself no one's gonna be there with me i had a lot of fear but i guess one day i'm like you know what marissa girl it's time it's time um to spread your wings so i finally did that by the way Finally, your girl has some nails on. These are spooky nails and they glow in the dark. Um, I was sleeping last night and I was like, I told my boyfriend like, look, they're glowing. They're glowing. So cute. So next question. Will you change your content now that you live by yourself? Love you. Love you too, girl. Definitely, guys. I do see my channel taking a little bit of a turn. Um, I definitely want to do new videos, like a more lifestyle more real not that my videos weren't real before but i kind of want to do more of that realness in my videos you know everyday vlogs excuse me like apartment vlogs just more like lifestyle things so yeah i definitely do see a little bit of a change happening with the channel not drastic just a little bit i've always wondered does youtube pay every month every friday or bi-weekly YouTube pays once a month, so monthly. Is it scary living far from your family for the first time? I miss your self-care vlogs. Um, at first, it was. Oh my gosh, girl. Literally, the first time I went out officially by myself in my new town, I had a serious, like, severe anxiety attack, panic attack. Guys, I was in Target and I literally was shaking so bad. Like, I was like, where am I? I was looking around like I'm in a new atmosphere. Like, I don't know anybody or anything really. Like, I literally was shaking. I was on the phone with my grandma and, you know, she was trying to calm me down because, girl, I was literally like this. Like, I was like, 
I was walking around the store, didn't even know what to do. I was really just walking around. I'm like, calm down, Marissa, breathe in and breathe out. I was really trying to tell myself, like, calm down, Marissa, you're okay. So eventually, I did calm myself down and I was able to, you know, shop around. But it was literally my first time ever going out. And girl, let me tell you, I was in my car. I was literally giving myself a pep talk. I said, Marissa, you're okay. You're fine. This is a good change for you. I was really like telling myself these things because I was freaking out, girl. I was freaking out. But yeah, the first time it was scary. Now I've been here for like almost a month or a month already. And I'm used to it. You know, I know my ways around. I am more calm. Is your apartment in the same area as your boyfriend? I did get a lot of questions um, on this one as well. Yes, I'm actually in the same complex as him. So I do feel a little bit ease because he is in the same complex. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of at ease because I know I have him with me still. But yes, we are in the same complex. What room are you most excited to decorate? Girl, I'm most excited to decorate this whole apartment, okay? From the freaking floor to the freaking ceiling. Like, girl, I just want to decorate everything. I'm not really... I'm not excited about one room in particular. Like, I'm just excited for this whole apartment. Because, yeah, I'm really excited. So, yeah, the whole apartment. Do you like living alone? So, it... this is Now, this is what's weird, right? So, I was saying earlier, I was scared to live alone. Because I'll be my by myself and I was scared but it's weird because I like being alone that's so weird right I love living alone um just me as a person I le I just like being alone in general like I am a loner I'm a little hermit crab um even at my grandma's house like I just loved being alone like even if I'm alone in my room I just love alone time okay like I'm not really into like big groups of parties and I'm just, this is not me. I'd rather be a little hermit crab in my little room, in my little shell, doing my own thing. I do love living alone. As I'm talking right now, I love it. It's very peaceful. Um, I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. No one can tell me anything. No one can tell me what to do. No one can tell me, hey, you need to wash that dish. No one can tell me, hey, you need to clean this up. Um, I can do what I want. I can go anywhere I want as I please. So I really do love just having my own space. And yeah, I really love it. Now I got a lot of questions about this. Is Storm going to stay at your new apartment sometimes? Or is he staying with your boyfriend every day? I got so many of those questions. What about Storm? Is Storm staying with you? Yada, yada, yada. So Storm is permanently going to stay with my boyfriend you know permanently he is going to stay with him and he will always stay with him um of course I can see him whenever I want or he can come over here whenever he wants so I will be able to still see him but permanently he stays with Brandon is your apartment far from your family yes I got a lot of questions on this one I am about like two hours away from them so it is a little uh, it's not far because two hours is really nothing but I am a little far from them. How are you adjusting to the new changes? How are you feeling with everything? Um, honestly, I've been good. Yes, of course, I have my moments where I'm just in a funk and I'm just like, mm. of course, you know, everyone has their moments. I do have my moments sometimes, but not often. It's not like an everyday thing. It's just sometimes. But honestly, I'm doing really good. I really am doing good. Obviously, I'm still moving things. I'm still buying things. I'm not officially moved in here yet. So I don't know how I'm going to feel when I'm like officially moved in here, like sleeping in here every day, like actually living in here because I am still with my boyfriend. Um, I'm still staying with him. So I don't know just yet. I'll give y'all that answer when I officially move in, how I actually feel. But as of right now, I'm doing good. Do you miss your old room with everything pink? By the way, love you, girl. I love you too. Um, no. I'm like, no. No, I don't miss it. I'm not like, I never really think about it if I'm being honest. I'm never like, oh, I miss my pink room and I just miss like just being in there. I really honestly don't feel like that. Um, 
maybe because I have an I have a whole apartment now. I don't have just a room, so I'm like even I'm just more excited for my apartment because I have a whole apartment I can decorate and do whatever I want with it. So maybe that's why I don't miss it because I have this. So yeah. How how was the transition been from moving out? Um, I guess I've answered it kind of in this video. It's been a roller coaster. I mean, y'all seen it. Um, I vlogged it. I was like this with my emotions. Y'all saw when I moved out, I was very emotional. Um, I even cried. My family cried. My grandma boohooed. It was a roller coaster. And like I said, at first it was hard. I had a panic attack in the stores. Like at first it was rough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did miss my family at first. Now I'm okay. I don't, I don't want to say I don't miss them. I miss them, but I don't miss them. Like, oh my gosh, I want to go back. I miss them. I can't do this. No, like, I mean, I miss them, but I don't like miss them. Girl, that sounds wrong. Like, dang, Marissa, you don't miss your family. But y'all know what I mean. Um, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to see them. Like, I need to go be with them. I need to go move back. No, I'm not like that extreme. But what was the question? Girl, I'm like, what am I even talking about? Anyways, to sum it up, it was rough in the beginning. But now we're smooth sailing, okay? We're good now. We're not like this. We're like this. We're smooth sailing. Okay, there we go. Next question. Are you doing Vlogmas this year? Oh my goodness. Oh my lordy. Oh my goodness. I think I am. I've never done Vlogmas before. Well, let me tell you this, girl. I am not doing the whole month of December. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I commend YouTubers, creators who do the whole month of December. How? Actually, how? Girl, I even, when I post three videos a week sometimes, I am worn out. I'm not even kidding. I'm like, dang, this is a lot. I can't even imagine doing every single day. Like, I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, I will be burnt the hell out, like, for real. I'll be like, girl, I'll see you in February because I'm going to need a month break. But, yeah, I think I might do a week of Vlogmas, okay? I can do a week. Two weeks is kind of pushing it. I don't know if I can do two weeks, but maybe a week of Vlogmas. But yeah, when December comes, I'm going to need to remind me of what I said. Hey, Marissa, I remember a few months ago you said you're going to do a week of Vlogmas. I'm going to need y'all to remind me because, yeah, y'all always put me in check. Anyways, okay, next video, next video, next question. How do you deal with being indecisive? I struggle with it as well, and it's so hard to just go about life yeah it's insane um i am very indecisive i'm just an overthinker in general i overthink to the max to the point where it makes me cry yeah cry like girl are you okay no i overthink every little thing in my life and it literally stresses me out i feel like that literally triggers my anxiety maybe i don't know if that's how it works i don't know this is just me talking I really do think so because I will literally overthink myself into a bad mood, into a sad mood, into like panic mode. Like it's not healthy and it's hard. It's easy, easier said than done to just say like, don't overthink, you know, don't overthink. Girl, that's easier said than done, but it's hard. Like I literally tell myself, Marissa, you're fine. Calm down. Everything's going to work out. Everything's going to be okay. Breathe in and breathe out. Like with my furniture, I'm so happy I did order some things. I still am debating on the couch and the bar stools. <sighs> My girl, just freaking get it. Like, no one's even going to come in here. Like, literally. Oh, I want to say this real quick. Okay, so when I say guest bathroom, guys, I meant, like, an extra bathroom. Because, honestly, I'm not going to have guests. Like, hello i have no freaking friends i don't know anybody the only people that's going to come into my apartment is my family so i know a lot of people said marissa your guests are going to be in your personal space like you need to do the other bathroom for the guests um what if the guests take something when i say guest guys i really mean my family i'm gonna i'm not even gonna call it a guest bathroom i'm gonna just call it the extra bathroom because yeah, uh, I'm not going to have no guest over, girl. Like, nobody's going to come in my space. Like, nobody. Only if it's my family, you know? Honestly, I'm probably going to be the only one using it because no one is probably going to visit like that. I mean, my, my, maybe my sister will, 
but yeah i it's just an extra bathroom let's call it the extra bathroom not the guest okay so yeah anyways just wanted to get that out there what do you do for a living besides social media um i do social media with what you're watching right now in this little box this is my job hey yeah girl this is how i pay the bills girl right here right here <laughs> okay anyways raisin canes or chick-fil-a you know what guys i haven't been to chick-fil-a in a minute when i lived back home with my grandma i was at chick-fil-a every week i'm not even kidding i've been going more to raisin canes now so i'm gonna say raisin canes because i've been going there more than chick-fil-a so raisin canes did you ever consider getting an actual house if so why didn't you well i am not ready to be settled down i feel like when i want to get a house is when i might want to be you know settled maybe i want to start a family um maybe because i don't know if i want to live in this specific town forever i might want to go back home i might want to venture out more i don't know so i'm not ready to settle down at all so that's why I didn't get a house and I don't want a house right now. You know, like I, I'm literally dipping my toes in the water right now. I definitely do not want to be a homeowner right now. So that's why I didn't get a house because I'm not ready to be settled. And I also got this one comment. This girl was like, girl, why didn't you get a house? What? You think I can just pull a freaking house out my ass? Like, what? I'm telling you, these people, girl, like was it hard making the decision girl i can't even read the decision decision the heck to move out your grandma bell's house actually it wasn't hard i know this is so i'm weird first i didn't want to move out because i was scared to be alone but then i do love live being alone like i'm weird okay my i'm everywhere was it hard to move out my grandma bell's house no i wanted to move out my grandma bell's house you see how weird i am i'm like contradicting myself a little bit right i don't know i'm weird um it was hard a little bit but i really wanted to move out like i really wanted like by the end of it not the beginning by the end um i was like you know what i do want to move out um it wasn't hard i was ready to dip my toes in the water even though i was scared i was I'm gonna say that I was scared, um, but I knew I it was time for me to spread my wings. I'm like a bird on his I don't know I'm alone. I don't know I'm at home. Oh, I'm hungry. Y'all gonna have to wait. <laughs> Go fish, anybody? Girl, these are still already. I just bought them. Okay. Are you interested in the new JC Daydreamer drop? I've seen it. I don't like the colors. I was kind of disappointed. Mm. The style of the bag, oh my gosh, to die for, beautiful. But I don't like the colors of it. What is your inspiration for your beauty room? Y2K, Hello Kitty, Cheetah Girls, Pink. Um, I'm going to put some pictures up here. The inspiration that I want to go for. I love this style and I definitely want to go for this sort of vibe in my beauty room. Also, I seen on your last recent video that you don't like Hello Kitty as much. Can I ask why? Um, I think that era of me is ending and I'm entering a new era in my life, like a new chapter. And I kind of want to... I'm liking my stomach just made a noise okay I'm liking more things I'm liking new things um my style is definitely changing to more like I don't know it's just changing it's just changing I mean obviously I do still think she's cute obviously I still have some stuff of her and I do have stuff of her still but I'm not like crazy about her and I noticed this, guys, when I went to the store one day. I was still living at my grandma's. And I went to, I think, TJ Maxx or Marshall's. And I saw, like, a whole stand of Hello Kitty. And a year ago, I would have been like, 
pastel heart attack freaking hyperventilating like i would be so excited i'm like oh my gosh like this is so cute i want to buy everything but this one day i went into marshall's or tj maxx and i looked at it i'm like mm. i was like mm. like it didn't excite me anymore i wasn't excited to see it anymore like it didn't do nothing for me really so that's when i started to realize like oh marissa you're you're kind of stepping back from hello kitty like you're not into her that much anymore yeah and the more i would see her in the stores i'm like mm, same thing like i see it everywhere i see everyone on tiktok everyone their mama has it i just wasn't excited for it anymore and i wasn't into it anymore that's why y'all saw me buy it on timu or aliexpress I like doing that because I it wasn't the same in the stores. Um, it was like different things. Like I bought like a Hello Kitty alarm clock. That is really cute. I still have that. Um, I bought this pillow. Like you can't find this pillow in the store. So maybe you can now. Like this sort of style. But yeah, I even bought that plushie from... Where did I buy that? Oh, a 99 cent store. I bought that 99 cent store. Like a few weeks ago, I went to TJ Maxx and I saw they had three Hello Kitty blankets. Girl, a year ago, I would have grabbed one of them. I'd be like, oh my gosh, so cute. But I was like, mm. and you know what, guys? I feel kind of embarrassed to buy Hello Kitty things now because of the Hello Kitty drama that's going on on TikTok. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I don't know. I just feel embarrassed to go buy like a hello kitty blanket like they're gonna think like oh you're a crazy hello kitty girl i mean i really shouldn't care about that but i don't know i think with all this hello kitty drama i'm like it's making me lose even more interest because i'm like girl it's not that serious but yeah to sum it up i'm not into her as much anymore so yeah that era of me is slowly dying but i'm okay with it i'm ready for something new i'm ready to like new things and to change up my style so i'm okay with it okay miss girl this is going to be the last question i'm going to be answering thank you so much to everyone who submitted your questions when would you want to be a homeowner also i love you love you too girl when i don't know i have no idea like when i want to be a homeowner but I definitely do want to be a homeowner eventually like that is like my end goal like that is definitely one of my goals in life is to eventually have my own home be a homeowner you know like who wouldn't want that so yeah I definitely do see myself owning a home one day I'm praying to the Lord like that that happens well that was fun a cute little Q&A oh my god this whole season totally take that I don't like it down Okay, so I told y'all in my last video that I got some stuff from Amazon. So we're going to do a little haul, girl. We're going to do a little haul. Honestly, guys, I feel very fired. Fired? I feel very tired today. Like, I don't know. I just feel sleepy vibes. So we might not do a lot today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel tired. Okay, so... I did brought over some of my boxes. We can go through and see what's in here because I don't really know what's in here. So we might go through my boxes as well. I do have some boxes I need to bring over here, but I'm, girl, I'm gonna wait till my boyfriend gets all the work so he can help me because I am not doing that by myself. You got me fushed up. All right, so ugh, here we go. Got this box. Excuse me, I have to burp. Um, it's not exciting things. It's for the house, but the apartment. I keep saying house, but if I say house, guys, just know I mean apartment, okay? Like, I get them mixed up sometimes. But anyway, so let's go ahead and do a little haul. So, yeah, let's go. I'll meet you in the living room. So, come on. You gonna stay there? Okay, that's fine. Oh, you don't want to see it? Oh, okay. Oh, you're not interested in it? Girl, you don't gotta tell me twice. All right. Well, I will see you tomorrow then. Shoot. All right, bye. Girl, stop playing me and let's go. Get me out of here for what reason. Girl, I didn't do nothing to you. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Amazon. Okay, 
right, so this is just a few things. I will also have everything linked down below. I can't even talk. <laughs> I will also have everything linked down below for you guys if y'all are interested in anything. Okay, so the first thing I got was this for my sink, okay? I was thinking of having like an actual like um, dish. What do you call it? Dish? Where you put your dishes on? But I'm like, you know what? I don't know if I want to have that out on my counter. I think I want to put this on my sink. So I grabbed the bigger size because I thought the small one will be too small. I'm going to put this in my sink at the end to see if it will fit. I think it will hopefully. But it's so cute. Yeah, it's just pink. So we got that for my sink. Well, for my dishes. I also picked up these shower drain hair thing so that the hair doesn't go down your drain girl one thing about me i shed a lot in the shower is that normal don't tell me if it's not because don't scare me but like guys i shed a lot of hair like a lot okay like i could probably make a wig out of it like it's a lot so and it always clogs up this um the bath the bathtub so I went ahead and bought these. It comes with two. I'll put one in the guest, the extra bathroom, and I'll put one in mine. But look how cute they are. They're just heart-shaped for your drain. Okay, next up we have is this. So I really needed a um, silverware organizer, you know, because I don't have one. So I saw this cute one. Yes, it's pink. Girl, come out. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Look how cute it is. So we're also gonna put this together as well. And we're gonna put all my silverware on here. But it's so cute. I love it. They also have different colors if y'all do not like pink. But here's a close up of it. Okay, I have two more things. So I got this just for a peace of mind for myself. I am going to get cameras and all that. I will be having that. But to also have a peace of mind, I also got this. This is a adjustable door and window security bar. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put this in this one right here, in this door. So yeah, and it's pink of course. So let's see what she looks like. Look, even my scissors are pink. They're Paris, Paris Hilton. Ooh. The other pieces in here oh this is thick and heavy holy crap oh this is really heavy girl this could be a weight okay so this is the door hand i mean the door stopper dang okay and then here's the top of it let me put it together real quick all right girl i just did it and it looks like this it's pink it's actually really sturdy too it's heavy so yeah this will just give me a peace of mind okay cool we have that i'm gonna actually keep that right there so okay girl it literally took me like 15 minutes to read the directions like okay okay guys so this is the last thing that i got i finally got me a broom set Ooh. Look at this. It's more like a purpley, huh? Like a purple pink. But it's okay, girl. It's okay. Okay. Girl, look at all this. Is it just me when you see directions that has like so much things? You're like, uh -uh. nope. We're not gonna do it. I'm gonna figure it out on my own. Okay, so what I like about this is that it has this. So let's say you're sweeping, right? You're sweeping all the dirt and then you can brush this along the brush, you see? And it can pick up the extra dirt in it. So that's what I really liked about it. See, it can grab like the rest of the dirt you had on your brush. So I do like that. I'm going to try to put this together, girl. I'll be back. Okay, this is what the broom looks like. Girl, so this one doesn't want to go in, and it's supposed to be here. I don't know. It's, like, hard to go in, but it'll do. But this is the broom. I like it. I really like it. Ooh, 
Yeah, I definitely need a broom. I do not have one. So this will go over there in that closet. So let me grab this. And it won't, it's like stuck. It like won't go all the way in. I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, let's go put them in the closet. Okie dokie. These are gonna go over here. I still obviously need to buy a mop and a vacuum, so I still need to go buy those. Do you believe in love is enough? All right then. I think that's it for the haul, guys. That's all I got. So thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, so I have my silverware in here. Um, I think I'm gonna move them in this drawer. Oh, I forgot I had that in there. Hi, girl. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move my silverware in this drawer right here. So this is what I have. I got these from TJ Maxx. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the little drawer. So I'm going to just take these out. This way. Yeah, it goes the other way. My bad. Okay, we're gonna do the little spoons right here. Can y'all see? Wait, hold on. These are the big spoons. Big spoon. Little spoon. Like when you cuddle. Okay, and then we get the little forks right here and the big forks right there oh my gosh i'm so sorry guys i keep dropping them and then for these i'm gonna put them right here so the reviews did say that here let me just show you so the reviews did say that this is too um, short for this, so it's going to poke out a little bit. I already knew that, but I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay with me. So yeah, actually, let me put this one in there too. I'm oh, sorry. I'm not even recording it. All right, guys, that is going to be my silverware. I think it's cute. It's organized. Thank goodness. Okay, so now we're going to do this. I'm going to put it on my sink. I did get the big size one because I thought the little one wouldn't fit. So we shall see. Let me move this out the way. The moment of truth. Put this down. Okay, so it's going to go like this. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm so, so glad I didn't get the small one because I almost did. But my boyfriend measured it for me. He said, no, Marissa, that's going to be too small. So thank you, boo. So yeah, I did get the size up. But yeah, guys, look. So I'm going to put my dishes on here so that they can dry. I actually really like it. So this is what it looks like. I'll obviously just bring it out when I'm doing dishes so that I can air dry on here. But I really like it. Okay, the last thing that we have are these. So I'm gonna put them in the showers. So let's go to the guest. In reality, it's a second bathroom, girl. Uh, Marissa Marie. I didn't check the drain before I bought these. It doesn't even fit. Marissa Marie, you need to check before you buy. Okay. Cause see, it's one of those. I'm returning them.
Mm -mm. It's my fault because I didn't check, but no, I'm gonna just return them. Wait, never mind. It can actually fit in my bathroom. <gasps> Yay. Okay, so the drain in my bathroom is good. This will definitely fit on it. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna keep them. I have an extra one just in case. You see? Yay. I'll do it this way. Yay, yay, yay. So cute. Okay, Marissa, get off the floor and close the freaking floor. All right, guys, so we have that. I did order some e eucalyptus. How do you say it? E eucalyptus. Um, like green stuff. I know. I think it's so cute. I know everyone and their mama has it, but I really do think it'll bring my bathroom together. What is this? Okay, my girls, I think that's going to be everything for today. I am going to come back later tonight to bring more of my boxes, but I'm going to wait till my boyfriend gets home because it's a lot of boxes and I'm not going to do that by myself. No, no. Okay, guys, one of my girls said that I could replace this with this. Does it look better like this, guys? Because originally I had this little canister thing in the basket because I thought like this would be too much greenery going on. So does it look better like this or, or should I just keep this vase for now? Eventually I do want to replace this, but how do y'all think it looks? Tomorrow I might want to go to Target. Maybe. Cause I love Target. Girl, I, I love Target. Like Target is my new place now. Like honestly guys, I'm so funny. I'll just go in Target with nothing in mind and I'll just stroll. Like I just love seeing the decor, like the new body stuff that came out, like girl, like I just like, I love it. So we might do a little Target trip tomorrow just to see what's out, okay? So yeah, see you later. Actually girls, I wanna go to Target today cause I don't wanna go anywhere tomorrow. But I'm taking Storm out to go use the restroom. And then we're probably going to go to Target. And I'm debating on going to either Ross or TJ Maxx. I really wanted to talk in the videos. But everywhere I went, the music was blasting loud. So voiceover it is. Look how cute these food containers are. They have bowls all over them. And I'm trying to find the price for you guys. Let's see how much it is. It was $6.99. Also, guys, they had so many of these Paris Hilton, like, lunch boxes, lunch bags. They had this glittery one, which was really cute. But it kind of had a stain on the back, so I didn't get it. But that was so pretty. They also had this style. And I really liked this hot pink one with the hearts on it. I think I stood here for like five minutes trying to figure out which one I wanted. I couldn't decide. I also really like these for my kitchen. I did grab a couple of them. I know I can make it cute and I just love the vibe of it. I thought this would be really cute for my guest extra bathroom, but I don't want to clutter the bathroom, so I didn't get it, but it was really cute. They did have a lot of these like storages, like storage bins. I don't know what this is. It looks like a chest, but it was huge. I absolutely love this basket. Like it's so pretty. I just don't know where I will put it in my apartment. I kind of want to get my furniture in and then... I want to like decorate decorate because I don't know where everything will go but yeah I really like those okay miss girl next stop is TJ Maxx I never really browse like that through the beauty section anymore so today I was like you know what Marissa let's see what they have I did find beauty creations um, like this was like a concealer palette type of thing they also had um, these really cute lip oils and i love this grinch set i'm just excited to see all the grinch christmas things in stores now so excited i also found this clueless lip gloss set so cute 
Okay, guys, at first I thought these were for little kids because they looked so small and they kind of looked little girlish to me, but I thought they were so cute. I tried them on and I had to get them. Okay, I actually love these Grinch pajama pants. Okay, guys, so this is where I got my statue at was from here. They added a lot more statues. I love this one right here. Um, they even have bigger ones. I was debating on getting a bigger one because I do have that small one. I also really love this wooden vase. So cute. Okay, guys, I know y'all wanted to see the Christmas thing. So, of course, I had to bring y'all to the Christmas decor. I absolutely love this pink Christmas tree. But guys, look at all this, like literally Christmas Wonderland. Yes, they have so many Christmas decorations out right now. Go run to your stores. I thought these pillows would look so cute in my room. How cute are these for $24.99? <gasps> these are going to go perfect for my red and pink Christmas theme in my living room. These are so cute. Okay, girl, I just got out. I was going to go to Target, but I'm honestly tired. Marissa, tired of shopping? Hmm. No, guys, but I'm honestly tired. I just want to go home and relax now. Um, we'll go in my next video. Because in my next video, guys, I want to go apartment shopping. So, yeah, I'm going to just save it for the next video. But we're going to go home right now. So put your seatbelts on, girl. Click it or mother freaking take it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you what I got probably tomorrow. I'll do another little haul. Also, girl, I bought this really cute um, red Christmas tree because y'all know I'm going to do my kitchen and living room um, like pink and red theme. So I bought a red little Christmas tree. I have a pink one of it too at, at my grandma's house. But anyways, the guy, I bought some pink Juicy Couture boots that I was debating on getting, but I got them. And the guy put my glittery Christmas tree in the same bag as my shoes. I'm like, no, no. Anyways, let's go home, girl, because I'm hungry and it's time for lunch. I'm coming out, everybody. Watch out. Everybody, I'm coming out. She's coming. Oh my God, that freaking scared me. My phone scared the F out of me. He's a sweet dog. Oops. Sweet, sweet dog. Oh, he's tired. Oh. He's tired. Guys, look at my food. I got pastor tacos, rice, beans. The beans a little bit, they spilled out, but it's okay. Okay, we just brought the stuff to my apartment, but I didn't vlog it because I forgot my phone. I forgot my phone here. Shame on me. Okay, so you see I still have some crap that I need to take to my apartment. So I think I'm going to take some clothing and I'm going to take this up here. Then in the cabinet, I do have some of my products. I don't really reach for these, so I'm going to just go ahead and box them up. Here's today's fit. Ghostface got it from Ross. So cute. Ding. And I always wear these slippers every single day. They're so comfy. Love them. I think I found them at Burlington. And then as you can see, I still have all my boxes. They're storm playing with toys. Little storm. So yeah, we're definitely going to be taking some boxes because there's no point in having them here. So I did take all of my stuff that I had in the kitchen. I still have those mugs up there, but I'm going to give those to Giselle because I asked if she wanted them. So she's going to take this one. Sorry, I got a comment. And then she's going to take this one. Super cute. But yeah, I'm going to, that's why I still have them here because I'm going to give them to Giselle. And I still do have my water bottles here because I do um use these often so that's everything that i have in the kitchen i pretty much moved everything to my apartment so the kitchen is good now i just need to 
focus on this okay guys so these are the boxes i'm going to be bringing to my apartment these are the stuff that i don't really need right now like they're not like my main necessities right now so these are going to go to my apartment hey girls good morning it's actually the next day it's thursday i'm actually on my way to my apartment because i do want to show y'all some things that i got from the stores yesterday do a little haul this is how i'm dressed i know i'm wearing my pajama shirt i'm gonna change into a cute sweater when i get to my apartment but yeah good morning i didn't even tell him to go in there he's such a good boy i'll be back storm okay I'll be right back. Love you. Love you. I have Bluey on for him so he can have some noise. I love you. I hate doing this to him, guys, but he is kennel trained. So I'll be back, okay? Okay, just made it to my apartment. Guys, this is so comfy. I love it. I wore it to sleep last night. It came with little shorts. Oh my gosh, I was so comfy. And I feel like this color makes me look tan right like i didn't put no tanner on i feel like yellow makes me look tan anyway look at how cute i got these leggings from ross these are the ones that flare out in my toes but yeah i wanted to wear this sweater for the video so cute okay guys now i want to show you another haul yay okay so i'm gonna show you what i got at ross first Okay, so from Ross, I did get this. I'm probably going to put this, it smells like perfume. Mm. I'm probably going to put this in my kitchen, but I thought this was so pretty. I can definitely add like decor on here or something like that. And this one was $5.99, so definitely had to pick one up. They had a lot. Let me turn on the fan. Hold on. This one will definitely be for the kitchen. I love this color wood. So this one I will definitely put on my kitchen counter, like by my stove. This one was $7.99, super inexpensive. So, so I showed y'all in the shopping part that Paris Hilton had so many of these insulated lunch totes. And I thought this would be perfect for me because I don't have one. And sometimes I do go to my brother's soccer games often. And my mom always puts like our snacks, like me and my grandma snacks in her little cooler thing. So I thought it'd be convenient to have my own. I don't have one. So I thought it'd be good for that reason and to just have one when I need it. And this was $12.99. I was going back and forth on which one to get. I wanted the glittery one, but it had like a little stain on the back. But this one was pretty cute. And I like this one because it has pockets on the side. And yeah, it has the little Paris Hilton logo right here inside. So yeah, these are super cute and only $12.99. Definitely had to grab one. So I picked that one. So I picked up this Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. I used to use this in high school. This one is the matte one. Oh, this one was $15. So I love finding Too Faced at these stores. I do have the pink one. I don't have this one. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I remember the smell. The smell brings me back some memories, but this is what it looks like. So yeah. Then I picked up two of these Lady Bold Too Faced lip liners. Girl, what was that? My, my water bottle? But these are some Too Faced lip liners. I grabbed one in Badass and I grabbed one in Limitless Life. So these were $9.99 each. So let's see, I love me a good lip liner girl. So let's see, oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Look how cute that is and it even has a heart. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Let's see what the color looks like. Oh, you click it. Okay. All right. Oh, they're creamy. So this one is Limitless Life. Okay. Okay, so this one is badass. <laughs> um, let's see what this color looks like. 
Hopefully this one is the darker one. Oh yeah, this one's really cute. I like this one. This one is definitely more of my shade. So cute and they're creamy. Okay, I'm actually glad I picked these up. Okay, girls, so remember how I told y'all I wanted a white comforter, right? Okay, so I did find some white comforters, but they all look like, like worn out, like dirty looking, like they weren't like white, white. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I want a white comforter now. Girl, when I saw this one, it's just a comforter. It only comes with a comforter. When I saw this, I'm like, this is so beautiful. It's going to look perfect with like my bohemian vibes, like my brown and pink vibes. So I picked up this one. Isn't this so pretty? It only comes with the comforter. I think it's going to look so cute against like my brown like dresser and my end tables and I had to get it. So it's by the brand Daisy Puntes. I don't know. But guys, I think this was only $27.99. Yeah, look, $27.99 because it only does come with the comforter. But look how pretty that comforter looks. Like I absolutely love it. So yeah, this is going to be my comforter for my bed. So I think in my last video, I did show you that I bought some Juicy Couture pink satin sheets. Okay, well, I'm like, okay, that's not gonna really go with this vibe. I'll still use it because usually guys I do always end up changing my comforter anyways like I always end up changing my bedding so I think I'm gonna use this first and then I'm like okay what sheets should I get this sheet called my girl these birds are going at it did y'all hear them uh-uh they they're getting into an altercation or something girl what's going on sorry the birds are cussing each other out we'll let them handle it on their own but anyways guys this is so pretty I think this will go with this, right? Like, I just see a vision, okay? I just see a vision. I absolutely love this color. This one was $18.99. Okay, so I saw some white sheets for $40. You got me all the way fudged up. Like, $40 for some sheets. I'm like, oh no. So I'm like, I'd rather pay the $18.99. But I think this is really cute. You know, like, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it does a little cute, but it doesn't really matter because no one's going to see, like, my sheets anyways. It's only going to be for me, but y'all know me. I want everything to be aesthetically pleasing. Okay, are y'all ready to see what I got from TJ Maxx? I'm going to just start with this. <gasps> are you freaking kidding me? Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I saw this because originally I passed it up, but then when I turned around and I saw this, I'm like, how did I miss this? This is going to look perfect for my red and pink Christmas theme. Like, look at it. And I love this brand, Cupcakes and Cashmere. They make the cutest Christmas stuff. Like, they make the cutest things. And this was $25 for two of them also picked up this red um little christmas tree i do have the pink version i would think this would look really cute on my coffee table you know like in the middle put it on the coffee table oh my goodness put it on the coffee table this one was 12.99 but yeah i thought it was really cute i definitely y'all know i don't have like no red um christmas decor so i'm trying to get a little bit of red Oh yeah, this is going to be for my room. I'm going to put this on my bed. Look how cute these are. I got these Christmas pillows. So it comes with this pink Christmas tree. And then it comes with this gingerbread house. This one was $25. Okay, girls. So this is going to be the last thing in this little haul. I was debating on if I should get these or not. And y'all convinced me. I asked y'all my Instagram. Because at first, guys, I really thought these were for little girls at first. I'm like, because they looked really small. Like, they looked small. This one I got in a size 7. I know I can make this cute. I always say that. Like, I know I can make things cute with, like, a little outfit. Like, I just know. So, I did get it because I thought that I would regret it. But I got these pink Juicy Couture little boots. 
And girl, these were expensive. They were $30. I'm like, God dang, $30. Um, they're so cute. I'll go ahead and put them on so y'all can see how they look like. But yeah, a lot of y'all were like, Marissa, you better get it. Treat yourself. You're going to regret it if you don't get it. Girl, send it to me if you don't get it. So I'm like, okay, y'all are telling me to get it. So might as well. Okay, let me put them on free. <gasps> Oh, I was about to say, they have glitter on it, but remember when I told you that guy put my glitter Christmas tree on it? Now there's, like, glitter on, on it. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all see that glitter? It's okay. He added a little razzle-dazzle. Okay, let me put them on so I can show you what they look like. Cute. Let me turn the light on. Oh, I probably should have got them in a size six and a half because they're kind of big. Okay. Well, I guess I can just wear some thick socks with it. I usually wear thick socks with my boots anyway, so. Okay, cute. A, 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 A. But yeah, these are the boots. Let me show you the, let me show you the bow. I would probably wear these with like cute little sweatpants, you know? But yeah. Here's what they look like up here. I don't think I would wear them with flare pants. I would probably wear them with like, maybe like sweats or something. Yeah, cause you can't see the bow with my flare pants, but they're cute. So in my extra bathroom, I'm going to use it as like a storage vibes. So I do have all my Christmas things to, for when I need it. So this is going to be like my storage. I feel like I'm screaming, girl, be quiet. I feel like this is going to be like my storage um, closet, like with my Halloween stuff, Christmas, stuff like that. And extra stuff, you know? So, yeah. Well, my girls, I was going to go through my boxes with you guys because I don't know what's in here. I think maybe like makeup, beauty, skincare. Like I was going to put some stuff up in my bathroom, but this video is already long and I don't want to make it long enough. So I think I might end up this video here. I added more little plushies. I still have my Hawaiian one and I have this one that I bought from the thrift store. So yeah, I do have a My Melody one. I think I left it at my, at my aunt's house. So I'm going to ask her if she has it because I really like that My Melody plushie. I want her. Anyways, I just want to thank y'all so much for showing me so much love and support on my apartment series, my little apartment diaries vlog. I have really been enjoying just picking up the camera and just filming my everyday life. So I would tell beautiful people, I'm my nice to see you. Mm -mm -mm. Bye everyone. Say bye. No, I don't like you anymore because you say you don't like me, so we're not friends anymore.